and welcome back to my channel so today I am currently 38 weeks so yeah I'm exactly 38 weeks today so we just finished packing all of our hospital bags so this is gonna be what I'm bringing to the hospital with me and let me just tell you I'm filming in my bedroom for the first time and it was so hard to keep getting on and off the bed to adjust the camera with this belly so Okay, first things first, I'm going to bring this blanket, it's blocking me, but, and this is a really nice, um, thick blanket that my aunt actually made for the baby, and we got it for our baby shower, I don't, I'm pretty sure I showed it in the baby shower haul, but I'm not exactly sure, but I'm bringing this blanket for him, um, to kind of throw over the car seat, just because it's going to be so cold. So I just wanted something really, really, really thick for him for car seat purposes. And then I'm also going to be bringing this boppy. Just because I am going to be breastfeeding. So I want to have that with me. That way they can kind of show me how to use it. So as far as bags, I'm going to start with Mason's bag because he has less stuff. So this is the diaper bag we're using. And it's just like an everyday kind of diaper bag. Um, but this is going to have all of his stuff in it. So like I said, for his bags, I'm not bringing too much stuff. Just because um, I asked on Facebook kind of like what should I even bring. And a lot of people told me that like you don't need that much stuff for the baby. So... Starting off, I am bringing socks. I have a couple pairs here. I think I have three, yeah. Three pairs of little socks for him. And then I have provides wipes, but... Um, oh, actually, my hospital does not provide wipes. They provide diapers, but they give you, like, a cloth, and you kind of uh, rinse it with warm water, and that's how you clean him. But I'm going to bring some wipes just in case because that doesn't really sound too appealing to me. And then I am bringing this like soft blanket for him. Just something so that he can lay on. Like I said, it's going to be pretty cold. So yeah. And then he has two little mittens. And he has this little hat. So when we're like coming home, because like I said, it's going to be pretty cold. Now I am bringing his Halo uh, sleep sack. It looks kind of crazy because I just washed it. But the sleep sack, just because I do want him to get used to wearing it like for sleeping. So I'm going to bring that, see if my doctor says like that's a good idea or not, but yeah so outfits I have a couple so I'm gonna bring a little white onesie and then for this I have little gray pants and these are newborn and then I have one other newborn outfit yeah this and all the stuff is washed already also. And then this is a zero to three month. Just in case he's a little bigger. But this. And then I did bring two hats. Two little hats. And these are the smallest ones I have. These are newborn as well too. And then I have one more onesie just to kind of put under his um like sleeping things that I that I got just for layers and then I bought this and I never seen anybody use this before but my mom told me that you should wrap it around the belly button when the umbilical cord is you know coming off when it leaves that little thingy so I'm gonna bring it just in case but it sounds kind of crazy to me. So that's all I'm bringing for the baby. Really just his clothes, his sleep sack, um, a blanket, socks, 
like regular things. A lot of people told me that the hospital provides a lot of stuff like formula, diapers, um, things like that. So next is my bag and I'm just taking this big black bag which we actually got from Chris's grandparents. We kind of borrowed it and never gave it back so if they watch this video if you want your bag back let me know. But first things first I'm taking this folder and it just says documents and this holds all of my um like all of my things to do with the doctors so like my birth plan all the papers they give me and everything I've been using that basically my whole pregnancy so everything is all in there and I am bringing two I believe I have two yeah yeah two nursing bras so one is a clip bra and then one is kind of like a sports bra I feel like I might like the sports bra ish one a little bit better so we'll see about that and then I did buy new chargers just like little cheapy chargers um just so that you know if we have to run out the door or let's say we're out and about and then my water breaks or something like that I don't have to be like oh we need to get this we need to get this we need to get this everything is just thrown in the bag already Chris also has his own charger as well so next I'm just bringing a tank top which I really like this tank top because it's kind of like fitted and that's just what I personally feel comfortable in like clothes that are like tighter just makes me feel a little more put together and then I'm bringing some jogging pants just because I know there's going to be like a lot of things going on down there so I'm going to keep it light at the bottom and tight on the top. Now this is going to look kind of dumb but I wanted to bring this which it's all wrinkled now that I think about it but I wanted to bring this which is just like my silk robe and this is strictly for picture purposes this is not you know me trying to be cute in the hospital it's really just so I can have something so that I'm basically going to be wearing pajamas so that way I have something on top that looks like I'm not wearing pajamas the whole time <clears throat> and I'm bringing two pairs of socks for me I'm bringing my keys. Um, I know Chris is going to have his keys on him, obviously, because he's going to drive us there. But I'm bringing my keys because, if you don't know, we do have a dog here. So, once we go to the hospital, I'm going to have probably my mom meet us at the hospital and then, like, see where we're at with things, like, how long things are going to take and everything. And then once we get that figured out, we're going to have my mom come to my house, so she needs the extra keys and take the dog to her house that way obviously Wrigley's not home alone so I am bringing my Polaroid camera which this is another one of those things of like girl why but I personally really wanted like the little pictures obviously we'll be having like our phones and um, my hospital has like a photographer that comes by and you can buy the pictures but I really wanted my own pictures of him with these uh with this and I even bought an extra film and everything so we can get a lot of good pictures of that and then I'm bringing my own hand sanitizer because I know there's going to be a lot of people there as far as like family my family Chris's family um so that way yeah we can sanitize our hands and then a lot of people told me to bring snacks so I have a few snacks. <laughs> All these snacks. And I know like in the process of labor you can't eat. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't eat the snacks either. So let's see if Chris will let those last until after I give birth. So I'm just bringing two plastic bags just because um, like to throw our dirty clothes in. So one can go in Chris's bag and one will go in my bag. And I am bringing a little loofah. I personally can only use a loofah to clean myself. So um, I just got an extra one just to kind of like I could throw away afterwards. 
and then I'm bringing some slides. I couldn't find any flip-flops. Obviously, it's winter time, so that's not really, like, a lot of stores aren't selling flip-flops. But I'm just going to bring these slides. I don't really, they're not, like, my nice slides. They're kind of just cheapy slides. So I can use these in the shower if I want, or if I need to, like, just get up and just be walking around, I can just throw them on. And then I do have this makeup bag. It's just an old makeup bag, but basically I have a couple like makeup products in here and some makeup wipes just because I know that the pictures are important to me. A lot of people don't care about the pictures and that is fine. Everybody, you know, it's not a fashion show. It's not a beauty parlor, whatever, but I care about how I look in the pictures and I just don't want to look busted so I'm bringing my makeup bag and then I have makeup wipes so I can um, like if I am wearing makeup on the way there I can take it off and then like I said I'll put on makeup just for pictures so I do have this other Victoria's Secret makeup bag and it kind of just opens up like this so in the first pocket oh in the first pocket I just have a little toothbrush and this is just honestly to uh, lay my edges girl cuz you know I cannot be lacking your girl ain't gonna be out here with no laid edges like it's just not gonna happen and then I'm bringing a brush I don't know what you guys call these kinds of brushes but I call it a soft brush so I'm bringing a soft brush and then I'm bringing a hard brush. So hard brush is like the bristles, whatever. And I just bought these super cheap too because I don't, whatever, I don't know. This whole second pack right here is full of maxi pads. Um, they were recommended to me to bring my own. So I'm bringing my own. <laughs> and then in the last tab right here, I have travel toothbrush. I have three of my um, prenatals just in this little baggie, just because I'm still going to be taking them from breastfeeding. I have a travel toothpaste, travel face wash, then a little deodorant. I do have a shaver just in case I need to hit, you know, like my armpits or something, you know, you never know. Like, I feel like it's going to be kind of gross enough. I would like to take care of everything that I can. And I have a bunch of hair ties. So if I need a hair tie, if my mama need a hair tie, if my sister need a hair tie, if Chris's mama needs a hair tie, I got you girl. I got a lot of hair ties. And then I'm bringing a bar of soap. I don't know why I do this, but every time we like go out of town or something, I bring a whole bar of soap and that way I can just throw the whole bar away afterwards. Um, I never get like a travel soap and I just prefer to use a bar of soap. And then I am bringing my um, like nipple cream. It was recommended to me that I should bring it. And in all the other videos that I watched, a lot of people bring theirs, so, yeah. So that's all I'm bringing. Um, Chris obviously has his bag. In his bag, all he really has is, like, shampoo, his underwear, his clothes. Um, really, that's it. I'm usually, like, the packer. All he has to worry about is his personal clothes, so lucky him. <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, if you have any suggestions of what I should bring before I go into labor, leave them down below. Or if there's anything that you wish you would have bought and like you didn't even think of it, let me know. Alright, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.